My name is Ian, and I work for the Mekong River Commission. Uh, at the moment, the Mekong River Commission Secretariat is based in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. For the Mekong River Commission, the climate change issue is uh, very important issue in the whole organization. We have one program to take care of these cross-cutting issues. Um, we have a climate change adaptation initiative uh, who taking care of all the climate change uh, problem uh, relating to all the sector uh, as a subject of our organization, such as irrigation, agriculture, fishery, hydropower, uh, and also navigation. Uh, my subject is navigation, but when we talk about climate change, then we also talk about climate change with other sectors in my organization. Okay. Uh, one of the jobs they are doing now is they look at the, I mean the climate change group, uh, they are looking at the vulnerable uh, target of people and sector that will be impacted by the climate change. So it can be said that this is very important issues in my organization and um, they will have a plan to have a sustainable operation for climate change issues in the organization. To be honest, we don't do a lot of uh, climate change adaptation for navigation, but it doesn't mean that we don't do anything. For the regions, uh, for now, the climate change impact to navigation is mostly relating to flood issue, where the water increase and uh, the water uh, flush away uh, things on the channel. So. Uh, relating to infrastructure, we propose something uh, kind of floating structure. Uh, I will explain a little bit about that. Um, in the navigate on, on the Mekong rivers, we have a lot of passengers, tourists uh, using the river system for for for, for transportation and for traveling. Uh, so instead of building a fixed port for passengers and kinds of cargo, we propose to have floating puntoons for replacing the fixed structure that would be very convenient and useful uh, to adapt when the water level changes. Uh, when the water going up or going down, the floating structure can also change the positions according to the water level, which is a very convenient and a very uh, success uh, in the area that we had quite a lot of impact from the floods, the change of water levels. To prepare quite a lot of uh, plans uh, for developing the adaptation measure in the future, uh, the first thing we have to do is we look at, at the, we have to survey and look at the situation. And we also need to look at the tendency of the economics and uh, the economic change, the economic tendency increase um, that will impact the capacity of navigation and see how it will impact the climate change and vice versa to prepare our plan. In my own opinion, I think that the most important thing is you need to understand your situation. You need to understand the regions that you are working on, uh, not only the physical or technical issue, but also the social and economic issue, uh, because it's all related to the climate change. Uh, the climate change can uh, impact and influence the uh, life of people, the socio-economic uh, condition. 
So in my opinion, the most important thing is you need to understand the situation and the area that you are working on, the regions that you are in and working in uh, to propose appropriate um, solution uh, for your own regions.